Um, welcome to my videos. In this small training video, I'll be demonstrating routing on a stick. This will actually demonstrate routing across a voice VLAN, a data VLAN, and a server VLAN. Um, I've predetermined what network will be we'll be using for the data VLAN, and that's a 10 10 100 network slash 24. The voice VLAN will be used in 10 10 110. The server VLAN will be used in 10 10 120. Um, I've put together this network layout for you. I haven't configured anything yet, but I just wanted to give you this presentation, this depiction of what we're going to be configuring, so you'll understand exactly what we're doing. All right, if you notice also, just so we can easily identify what network we're working with, I've made the third octate of the IP address equivalent to the VLAN number. So let's begin. Notice in my configurations also, I've deliberately left out the, connect the connection that's going between um, our IP phone and our PC and also our IP phone on this side because I wanted to show you myself how to configure that. So once we click on the straight through cable that we're going to be using, we just go into any interface. So this, in this case, I'm connecting it to Fast Ethernet 01. I'm going to the phone. The phone has two ports. There's a switch port and there's a PC port. When it's connected to the switch port, what happens, the switch provides power to the phone and it lights the phone. It's called power over Ethernet. Now we're going to go from the phone to the, to the PC. And um, in this case, we're just going to go straight from the switch over here and we're going into our, um, our phone. All right, so that's all I wanted to demonstrate through connecting the server, connecting all the other PCs, and the, sw and the switch to the router is a piece of cake, something that we're all accustomed to doing. Now, if you look at my router, the link between the router and the, the, um, the switch is down, and that's because the router is not yet configured. So let's jump into our router and start, connecting, um, start configuring that. So the router, I just powered it on, and... Um, from me powering it on, it's at the, um, the initial configuration page, and it's asking me to go through the dialog. I don't want to go through the dialog, so I just say no, and it will just take me to that interface. So let's just start doing that. One thing I'm going to tell you also, for the we're going to be using sub interfaces on the router, right? So the sub interfaces that we're using on the router, I'm going to use the um, the the third octate in the IP address to identify what is associated with what VLAN and you'll see that so let's start so we're gonna go to con config T interface FA0 slash 0 FA0 is what my router is connected to that's the interface here on the router that's connected to the switch All right so I'll just use this sub interface so I'll use dot 100 we're configuring the um, the interface that will be used to route traffic for VLAN 100 all right, so once we're in there, we'll have to do encapsulation. Encap, we're using dot one q, and in this case, it's for VLAN 100, so we put the VLAN number. What we're saying to the router, any traffic that's coming in that's tagged with a VLAN 100, use this interface to route it. That's all that's saying. We're going to put an IP address. The IP address that we'll be using on these sub interfaces will all be one. So our routing points will be one. So example, the data VLAN routing, the default gateway for machines or phones or whatever it is that's on that VLAN will be 10.10.100.1, voice 10.10.100.110.1, server 10.10.120.1. All right, so let's do it. IP address is going to be 10.10. Dot one hundred dot one we're using two five five that two five five that two five five that zero and um, what we will need to do we will need to specify on any equipment that's coming in requesting a DHCP address we'll need to point them to the server on this side the server where DHCP will be running on so the command to do that is IP helper address and you will give the helper address 10.10.20.100 we know that from one networking segment to the other broadcast traffic has dropped so what we're saying here to this router allow DHCP broadcast traffic to go across and allow it to go to this server because that's where DHCP is listening on 
All right, and that's what we just did. So now let's go to the second. Let's create our second subinterface, and that's for the voice VLAN. To do that again, it's F8 zero slash zero, and we're using subinterface one ten. Okay. I am sorry. It's F8. It's interface F8 zero slash zero dot one one zero, and it's end cap dot one q one one zero IP address IP address is ten dot ten dot one one zero dot one and we're going to be using two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and again down here our IP helper Our IP helper address is 10.10.120.0 uh, 120.100, pardon me. And that's that. Let's create our, ter our third interface, and that's interface FA0 slash 0 dot 120 and cap dot one Q and we're using VLAN 120 we'll be using IP address and that will be 10.10.120.1 and it's 255.255.255.0 and again IP um, in this case, we don't need to put any IP helper statement because there will be no machines that are on our um, server VLAN that will be using a um, DHCP address, so we don't need to put that there. Okay, so Control Z gets us back to the um, to the um, the enabled mode of the switch, of the router that is. All right, so now that we have configured everything, I, I like to write um, my config. So I write my config, and um, one of the things that we need to do now, if I do a show run, I can look at the config on my router. So to do that, I do show run. And um, you notice that the, the interface that we're using is FA00, and that's actually shut down right now. We have created sub interfaces, and this sub interface that we have created here, dot one hundred, will be used for um, again for our data VLAN, where um, the sub interface one ten will be used for the voice VLAN, and sub interface one twenty will be used for the data VLAN. So I just wanted to go that over with you. Now we need to go on. Being that the interface is shut down, that's why everything is still showing red between the router and the switch. So to bring the interface online, we'll go underneath in the the, um, the config mode, and from the config mode, we'll go to FA00, and we'll do no shut. Once we'll do no shut, then we could do we could write the, the command to write the um, the config to the router. If we're in config mode, the general config mode or the global config mode that it's called to write it we could do do wr if we're at the um, the enabled mode which we could get to by doing control z then we just type wr right it's the same thing it pretty much writes it and it's bringing the interface online so here we are pretty much done with our router now let's jump into the switch so if we go on the switch inter if we go on the switch right now we need to go into enabled mode again it's en config t to get into global configuration mode i'll just make the window a little bit smaller so you can see what i'm doing um, we first need to establish these vlan so that's vlan 100 vlan 110 vlan 120 i to do that we'll just do vlan 100 vlan 110 vlan 120 so we do we do have all our VLANs there. We could look at um, we could look at all our VLANs. We could do do show VLAN 
brief. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if that's working. I'll just show VLAN. V R E F. Show VLAN brief. So we just saw what we just created. That's VLAN 100, VLAN 110, and VLAN 120. Again, to write our config on the switch, we'll just do WR, and that writes the config there. Um, the interface also that is connected to the router, we'll need to configure that to be a trunk port. What a trunk port does, it carries traffic from various VLANs. So in this case, we want that trunk port to carry traffic from all our VLAN. That is VLAN 100, VLAN 110, and VLAN 120. And that's how it will bring all the traffic across the link between the, the switch to the router, and it will be routed from these various sub-interfaces that we have we have created to send it back to the correct destination. So let's do that. Um, we could let's look at the, the interface that this is connected to the router is connected to gigabit 01 on the switch so if we go back to our switch and we go to config T and we go to interface at GI 0 slash 1 then we could say we could say um, switch port mode trunk alright so we have to do switch port encapsulation I'm fat fingering everything I have the small little laptop and you know every time I try to do it so we're in the gigabit interface and let's try this again so um, again let's see if I can do this without fat fingering it it's um, switch port SWI TCA switch port trunk and um, it's encapsulation and we're using dot one q alright then we're going to type the switch port mode trunk right so again we could save our config so we have now configured our, tri our switch port to be a trunk port and we're also configured so now any data that's coming from VLAN um, 100 VLAN 110 or VLAN 120 will be sent across our trunk port. Alright, I think I'm going to have to split this video into um, to two because we're running close to our 15 minutes. But let's go on our server now and configure our, our IP address and our DHCP range. So to do that, we click, we go into configuration, and we have determined that our server will be 10.10.20.100 .10 the subnet mask will be the slash 24 so in this case it will be 255 that 255 that 0 and the gateway is 10.10.20.1 10 remember that on a sub interface on the router down here we already configured the um, the gateway so let's see if we could reach our gateway it's 10.10.20.1 10 one. Right, let's just see whether or not we're getting a reply. All right, just like I expected, I didn't expect for us to get a reply because we have created all those VLANs, but we haven't associated any VLAN with any port. All right, so let's go over to our switch. And once we go over to our switch, Let's identify what port the server is plugged into. The server is plugged into port 5. Remember, we're tagging the traffic that is coming out of um, fast Ethernet or gigabit 01 that's connected to the router. And we're saying anything that's coming from VLAN 120 should be dropped off to the sub interface that is configured with 101021. So we have to go into the switch over here. So if we go into the switch config T and we go into interface FA0 slash 5, which is the port that our server is connected to, and we said switch port access VLAN. That's how we're setting the VLAN and it's 120 that we created. Now, once that port comes back online, if we go back to our server, we should be able to if it works. And I'm also pinging the wrong IP address. Let's it's 120.
All right, for some strange reason, it's not pinging. Join me in part two, and we'll continue the lab, because I think we're pretty much out of time.